It's important for an artist to have a portfolio that shows their work. So I'm going to show you the simplest way. Um, we do in class talk about putting together an artwork portfolio on the internet, and that's really the best way an artist can share their work. But just for the purposes of class, the most simple way or the first way you could create a portfolio is to have it in a Google Doc. And that way I can look at it and I could even give you ideas or I can send you comments. So here's how. First, you start a new Google document. So if you're using Google Chrome, you log in with your Gmail account and your school has provided you with a Gmail account. You log into that or you can log into your personal Gmail account. Then you go into the area that looks like a waffle and it has a docs option under it. And if you don't see that, the web address is docs.google.com. Make sure you're logged in and then start a blank document. Once you're in the blank document, you'll see just the regular white page. So when you open a new fresh Google document, we always name it your name artwork. And then if you double click at the top, this is a, called a header. You don't want to put your artwork in a header, but you do want to have a title there. So I just highlight this and I set a header style as a title. So that's the title of your, your document. And then everything below that, and I'm just going to go insert a uh, horizontal line so that you can see that there is a, a break, kind of like a, a, a change from the header down. So then right here, we always put a, a the most recent artwork that you've done at the very top. And then as it scrolls down, then that'll be your older artworks. And every time we do an artwork, I would like you to always have a label on it. So the title should always be some kind of name that you would like. You can put it in quotation marks. And then a lot of times we do art in the style of a famous artist. So that'll be next, if, if at all. And then medium is what you use to make the artwork. So if you drew it on paper, you would say graphite on paper if you were using a pencil. If you were doing watercolors, it would say watercolors on paper. But oftentimes we are using the computer because I don't know what kind of materials you all have at home. And so I just use what materials we have for free on the internet. So a lot of times we do digital imagery and then I say what program we use to create it. Then the size and your name and the date you created it. Then you just make sure you hit share and then you share it with me so uh, my email address is there and you can also uh, make me a editor. Make sure that when you uh, share it with me that you can make me an editor. That way I can leave comments or help you if you misspell something in your title or something like that. So uh, then share it with me. And you can copy the link, send me an email, or it, you can send an email directly from the share screen. And that's all there is to making a Google document that is your portfolio. Remember, you're powerful and infinitely valuable. Treat others the same and really respect that you've got great artwork. You can make great artwork and you can share it. So feel free to share your artwork with others too.